Welcome to the Expect Success Podcast, a presentation of georgebollock.com with your host, George Bollock. This podcast is for all things personal development. Don't expect success, prepare for it. Please welcome your host, George Bollock. Welcome to Expect Success at georgebollock.com. Now, in addition to listening to our podcast, you could also view the video format on YouTube at georgetube.com. Robert Herjavec is a Canadian businessman, investor, and celebrity. Herjavec founded Brack Systems, a Canadian integrator of internet security software, and sold it to AT&T Canada in 2000 for $30.2 million. In 2003, he founded the Herjavec Group, now one of the largest information technology and computer security companies in Canada, with over $200 million in annual revenue. He's been featured on CBC television series Dragon's Den and ABC's version of the series Shark Tank, which he is an investor. He has also written books on advancing in business and his net worth is estimated at $200 million. Today, Robert tells us his story and like many, didn't start at the top. Listen to Robert. I was born in Croatia, which was a communist country when I was there called Yugoslavia. We had dirt floors and hay and no running water for a long time, but it never seemed bad. Because I was a little kid, my grandmother, lots of family, dogs, cats, horses. You never know the situation you grow up in until you compare it to something else. Yugoslavia was a great country if you were part of the Communist Party. My dad was very anti-communist and would say all kinds of bad things about communism. And he got thrown in jail 22 times. And the last time he got thrown in, he was told, if you come back, you will never return. He packed a suitcase, grabbed my mom and me, and he crossed the border to Italy, got on a boat, and came to Canada. In Yugoslavia, my dad was such a happy guy. He was a manager and he was pretty up there. He was well respected for what he did. And then he comes to Canada and he's sweeping floors in a factory. He was never the same. I think I'm like every other kid. You never appreciate your parents um, until they're gone. And I just think how hard he worked to give me that opportunity. And I just feel such a need to justify that sacrifice. I had lots of dreams when I was growing up. I wanted to be a detective, a vet, a race car driver. I was so unfocused. My best friend went for this interview at a computer company. And I'm thinking, computers, who cares? Boring. Until he says, the starting salary is $30,000. I'm like, what? And he says, well, I didn't get the job. Here's the guy's number. Call him. That's how I got started in the computer business. The Herjavec Group is one of the world's largest cybersecurity companies. I'm really passionate about it because it feels like we do good. I really think the world is changing. The internet has a lot of good, but has a lot of potential bad. And by protecting companies, we're making the world a safer place. I think what makes me different than the other sharks is I'm an actual immigrant. I actually came here on a boat. That shapes a lot of how I think and who I am. People think today, oh, I can't get ahead, it's really hard. Yeah, damn right it's really hard, and it should be hard. Entrepreneurship is the great equalizer. It's not about who your parents are, it's not about your color, it's not about your sex, it's not about your religion. You know, business doesn't really care. Business only cares about the value that you add. I'm proud of the success I've had, but only in the sense that it justifies the sacrifice for my parents. To work that hard and go through that much pain, and then for me to squander it and not do something with my life, that would have been undeserving for them. That's awesome. For more from Robert Herjavec, simply search YouTube, and be sure to check out his website, robertherjavec.com. His book, The Will to Win, is available at his website and or Amazon.com. And remember, as the late great Jim Rohn used to say, you are the average of the five people you spend the most time with. And today you've been hanging out with Robert Herjavec. Keep up the momentum. Subscribe to our newsletter so you never miss another episode. Catch you on the next show, and thanks a million for listening. See ya. Thanks so much for listening to this episode of the Expect Success Podcast with your host, George Bollock. 
you enjoyed today's podcast, please rate, subscribe, and review. And find more great content online at georgebollock.com and on Facebook and Twitter at George Bollock. We'll catch you next time. And remember, don't just expect success, prepare for it.